What's up, Slappers? Time for another awesome video. In this video, we're going to be using Tinkercad to take an image, just a regular 2D image, and turn it into a 3D object. Is that awesome or what? So, it is December right now. Uh, so, we are going to go along the theme of Christmas. Let's go over to Google and let's find a Christmas tree. So we type in Google Christmas tree, we go to images, and we want an image that will be a 3D printable object. Obviously, most of these are not going to work. So in images, I'm gonna hit tools. I'm gonna change my color to black and white, and I'm gonna change my type to clip art. Now a lot of these trees will work. Maybe I want the star on it. We could just go with this one right here. I could click that, um, click that image. I could then right click it, save image as, to get my image saved. And now we go to change it into an actual file that could get imported into Tinkercad and created into an object. So we go to Conversio, which is going to allow us to convert that image into an SVG, which allows us to import it into Tinkercad. So I am going to drag and drop my Christmas tree from the bottom of my screen up to here. I'm gonna change what I'm changing it to, what I'm converting it to, to an SVG. I'm gonna hit convert. Do, 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 do and it is converting, changing that to an SVG and making it readable for Tinkercad. Now, as we wait, we could take a look in Tinkercad. We have our import option. And when I click import, it allows these different files, STL, OBJ, and SVG. SVG is a scalable vector graphic, which allows me to import 2D objects. Let's go back here. Let's download our SVG file. Now we have our Christmas tree down here. We're going back to Tinkercad. I'm just gonna drag my Christmas tree SVG up into Tinkercad, it loads it up. Here's our SVG file, center on the artboard scale, whatever it wants. Here's our dimensions that it's importing and I'm gonna click import. Do, 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 do. Now we have a 2D image as a 3D object. Now I could go in and start changing things. I can make this a cookie cutter. I can make it fat. I can make this a drink holder. I can make this whatever I want. That is how you change a 2D image into a 3D object. I hope you guys liked the video. Short, sweet, easy. I will see you in the next one.